Jazz soloing can be a confusing and sometimes it could be a daunting task, especially because you're not really presented with written music. You have to create on the spot, on the spur of the moment. We call this jazz improvisation or improv for short, but it doesn't have to be completely made up from scratch. Jazz musicians often use in their, what we call their jazz vocabulary, licks or small, tiny little melodies that they have worked out and practiced and they could kind of interject these small licks into their soloing. So I've come up with nine licks that, that I have used and, and kind of um, practiced over the years and co incorporated them into a lot of my jazz solos when I'm performing. So these nine jazz licks for soloing are, I put them in the key of F, but you can transpose them to whatever key suits your needs, whatever kind of you need them to fit you for. Um, I'm gonna be playing all nine of these. They're all two measures long, and I'm gonna be playing all nine of these back to back with two measures of rest in between each one. So you can feel free to play as a call and response where I'll play a lick, and then in the empty measures between, you could repeat that lick back, paying close attention to the style, to the phrasing, to the swing, and some of the, the things I'm doing with scoops and ghosts and falls and just certain things that, that we, we do to make it sound more like authentic jazz in a jazz style. It's gonna be set to 120 beats per minute and there'll be a backing track, um, a drum set playing along to 120. So here we go, jazz licks for soloing. Again, feel free to put these in other keys to uh, suit your needs or to fit whatever piece of music you find yourself having to play a solo on. And it's important to not just string these licks together, but try to incorporate your own ideas, your own licks, your own melodic ideas kind of mixed in with some of these licks. As I'm soloing, when I'm performing, I have kind of some preconceived ideas, and these licks are things I've developed as part of that kind of language. And then I'm intermixing new thoughts and just new kind of expressions that come to me on the spot or just things maybe that I'm, I'm working on but haven't pre-planned out exactly what I'm gonna play. So that's the spontaneity of improvisation. People think improv means it has to be brand new on the spot, made up, completely spontaneous and organic but it's kind of like having a conversation. I'm not making up words and just putting random things together. I have a set of phrases and thoughts and concepts I'm conveying, but it's the manner at which I'm doing it, which is free and not scripted and not mapped out. It's the same thing when you perform. You can have kind of some preset phrases and ideas and certain melodic kind of turns that you're gonna be putting in um, just because you're not making them up on the spot, you're still improvising. So I hope this helps you a bit, and I hope um, it just leads to more enjoyment of music and of jazz. Thanks for tuning in.